right, we're going to be taking apart this Shark Rocket and uh, it's a HV320 UK2 power nozzle. Um, thing is to uh, undo these three caps as if you've seen any of the other videos I always use a or prefer to use a 50p coin stops there and feeds any damage and that's your axis that usually pops out I will try and uh, show as I go along you've got screw there screw there screw there one there that one can be hidden with a uh, dust and everything so that might be and then you've just got the normal obvious ones right. Front one is a different size, so I will uh, take a picture of uh, these bits to show you that a uh, hole in the end torch bit. I think it's a T20, and then this one I believe is a T10. Same hole in the end, and that's just for doing that one. I'm going to do the wheels because I'm doing a complete strip down. Go back to the other bit. Obviously, if you're not needing to take the wheels off, then don't. They are really tight sometimes, they come off pretty easy, but cover should just pop off there we go that's easy right. I will do a, a quick video to uh, show the wire layout and everything right. so first of all just to uh, undo the light, there we go, nice easy one, this is the motor, so as we're doing a strip down, we'll, uh, we'll take it all apart, obviously if you're only doing certain parts you don't need to take it all apart, you'll have to decide for yourself what you need to, usually I uh, crimp these up before I'm doing them but these older models you shouldn't really need to they should just come away pretty easily there we go, there we go. Your white look grey before but white grey it's important to notice your what your red is at the top here in line so if you take your motor off that that helps right we'll take the board we'll undo the screws to the board
Scissors are getting very blunt. I've only got three wires there. I am gonna. You can skip forward any time. Yep. Good, good. Squeezing on it gently. Yeah. There's your board. Right there. All right, this should just pop out now. Okay. And that should. They usually do. On the screws. He's a bit tight. I'm not going to force it because there's nothing wrong with it. But usually, if you uh, gently do it, they unscrew. And then you can, uh, I've got a right there. There's a desk. There you go. And that just shows you can unscrew them and then screw them back in. So, vice versa. But that one's quite stiff in there, so I'm not going to force it because it will only damage it. But that's gives you an idea. Right. Now we're back, we've got one, two, three, four, five, which is just another Phillips or Posi one screw driver. One at the back of the motor. I know what I'm doing with uh, viewers and vacuum cleaners, but that doesn't make me a brilliant photographer at all. So making these films are not easy. Sometimes I get back and I edit and I think, no, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, so it's binned. But, um, so I do try, but it's not always that easy. The learning curve as you go along. Right, that's it. Now we got to the belt. There we go. If you're changing your belt, then you could have left a lot of that in place to get to the motor and the belt. But once again, it's just the uh, two screws holding the motor in. Come to take the roll away right? instead of trying to pop them out, I always find it easier to sort of go inside and do it that way. And then just pop out then, much easier. They have got this tiny little slot that you can try and get a screwdriver down, but and there you go. See, a well used uh, nozzle. Anyway, hope that helped someone.